I am Paul. This was just a brief intro of what you're going to see in this video later on. In this video I will explain what the features of a smart home are and what has changed from here to where we will be in the future in around 5 years from now. But let me begin. Hello, my name is H3. Today I will show you around this house. I am the manager of this smart home. It seems like a normal house but it is a smart home. I will be starting with the kitchen. I am actually main feature of this house. I am in charge of everything, together with other robots around the house. To start with, I will tell you about this magnificent kitchen. I am the chef. Paul no longer needs to worry about cooking. I have the ability to store hundreds of recipes. The following video will prove how a robot invented in Japan can actually cook. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of The dishwasher no longer needs water to work as the dishes are cleaned with ultraviolet light. Regarding drinking water, dirty water is exposed to ultraviolet light and it's clean and drinkable. The fridge behind me is not a regular fridge. The device in it gives the temperature and tells the time. It is an auto stocking device. The groceries are sent home after bill is paid. Here is a video of what it will look like and what it will be able to do. Hello again, and now with the key aspect of change in the kitchen of smart homes, your fridge. It can be considered a smart fridge. Here are some pictures. Yes, that's right. This will be your fridge in about two years from now, at most. Here's a short clip I've prepared for you. That's always some music. Yes, perfect music for relaxing. And thank you lights for adjusting automatically. I am preparing a dinner and I have decided to get some wine. I forgot to buy it, but of course there's a smart fridge or a three, four, as many pieces as I want. They will just be put in a cart and sent home. And what if I don't understand what the wine is? What if I need some advice? Drag the wine into the TV icon. It will be automatically on the TV explaining where it is made and how it is it is to be taken and with what food. And to pay, yes, that's usually made the easiest. Just press on bill, then press on the tick, and just press your fingerprint where indicated. Wait two seconds and done, your payment is complete. Now, just enjoy the party. As a point to note, now one bank controls all other banks. Only one universal credit card is used. There is another last key feature, Last but not least, the washing machine washes, dries and folds the clothes with my help. Let me add that the dishwasher is almost automatic for us as well because the robot is in charge of it. Here's a clip to reassure it. Sitting here all alone, watching the snow fall. Looking back at the day when we threw them snow. Amps are special since they all have motion sensor to save electricity. The windows are special thanks to the company Corning, which have made wonders with windows. Not just this window, but with all the windows in the house. It changes state from opaque to transparent, and thus allowing more or less light in the room. And not just that. These are photovoltaic windows. They are like transparent solar panels which collect energy to sustain me and parts of the house energy usage. Sure H1, but you need to keep working, so let me finish this job. By the way, I am Andre. I will start with the most important point. 
The addition of robots in people's lives is the main feature in all smart homes nowadays. It is very important to mention that all the devices around the house have voice commands to make blinds go up or down, to increase temperature and to program a home audio system. Besides, I almost forgot about the eLife developed in a university in Tokyo. This device tells the owner about the energy usage of the house and how to improve on this aspect. As a last feature, a table with touchscreen display. Corning have also developed this table. And here is a video. The following video also includes parts of the kitchen, since many homes have living rooms and kitchens that are connected. Now over to the bathroom and the sleeping room. Hello, I will be continuing the tour from here. This is the bathroom. That behind me is actually a window from Corning, like the one you saw in the living room. It can change transparency and it is also photovoltaic. Yes, this whole bathroom is extremely expensive, but it is really worth it. Back there you can see two mirrors and beside there a lamp. The bathroom is actually hidden. And you might ask, why is it hidden? Well, I don't like to see a bathroom very much even if the design is splendid and it is absolutely clean. Here's a video to prove me. This new clean toilet concept is all about the 2-in-1 toilet, which spins into a urinal. Its main function is actually that it self-sanitizes through steam and UV light. The mirrors are display enabling, also by the company Corning. And to add to the luxury, there's also a jacuzzi under the floor. To conclude, a last key feature would be the new design of this bathroom. It isn't just all the technology, it is also how nice it looks and how clean it actually is. Before I told you about the UV light in the bathroom. And I almost forgot to tell you about this amazing window which fogs up when occupied. So yeah. Now that you've had this quick preview of the bathroom, let's finish the smart home with my bedroom. Hello, now I'll be showing you my room. I will actually use more realistic videos than my own room, since I like my room to be technological without looking too technological. First of all, I will say that my room is clean thanks to the robot H1, which cleaned my room before, and this is how he did it. Now you will see a very short video of what a bed will look like. Now you will see a very short video of what a room will look like. The robot doesn't just clean, he also makes my bed. The mirror in the wardrobe is also special. I will now show you the clip you saw in the very beginning of this video to refresh your memory. But basically, it suggests the clothing that looks good together, but also takes in consideration the weather, therefore not giving flip-flops if it is raining. And I almost forgot to add that this sofa right here is actually a massage sofa. But yes, this sums it up pretty well. This was the tour of my house. But before I go, 
I will leave you with a short preview of all the things I have told you today. This is what the house might look like from the outside. You have seen the inside and now you know what features it will be able to do.